Okay, so we got 1,808 grams of fairly clean copper between the two sets of cathodes over here. Although these first set of cathodes have been sitting around for a while, they've darkened up and started to turn green. But still, there's a lot of clean copper in there. And I got these over here. And, you know what came in the mail yesterday? Finally. A nice cast iron ingot mold. I think the, uh, the, the copper from this first electrolytic refining will be the first victim to go into this ingot mold. I think I'll melt down this copper and make myself a nice uh, a nice copper bar out of it as a keepsake, a memento. Okay, well, I got the uh, second set of anodes and all of the loose copper out of this bag into a brand new crucible over here. Never been melted anything in it yet, so not sure how I'm going to get this first set of cathodes in there. I may have to bust them up with a hammer or get my bigger crucible out, but hey, there's enough copper here between uh, the second set of cathodes and what I was able to knock off of these to, to do a pour. So let me get this in the foundry. We'll get it heated up, melt it, and pour a bar. Alright, this should be some pretty clean copper. I mean, it's a little discolored. I'm sitting around some of it, but it should just be some surface oxidation. This should actually be some pretty clean copper we got here. Get it melted down. bar. Try out my new ingot mold. Just have to remember to heat it up before I pour the liquid in it. Okay, I managed to bust up the original set of cathodes. So they're on top of the furnace over there. Uh, Preheating and drying out, I'll drop them in as the stuff in the crucible melts. Because I, I'm sure that however much is in the crucible is probably only going to fill it at most half full.
Woo, the radiant heat coming off that crucible is just amazing. I'll let that uh, harden up for a few seconds and then we'll dump it out. See what we got. There was a little bit of oxide floating on the surface of it. But uh, not too bad. There should be some pretty clean copper there in that ingot. Maybe I should have skimmed it, but that'll come off with a wire wheel. Looks like it wants to come out. There it is. Wow, that is hot. Holy cow. You can feel the radiant heat coming off of that. That's going to take a while to cool down. And even once it does cool down, it'll still be a boiling point of water. copper it doesn't look like copper when it's hot but once it cools down the copper color comes out cool I'm thinking if I hit this with a wire wheel it's gonna look really nice Polished up pretty good. It's not the prettiest thing that I've ever seen. It's not the ugliest one either. Oh, it's heavy too. Let me get the scale out and we'll weigh it up. See what the thing weighs. So let's see what we got here. One kilogram, 728 grams. Okay, so we lost a little weight somewhere. Um, that's 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 understandable. I'm sure there's still some copper left in the crucible. Um, I didn't get all of the little crumbs in the bag that had the uh, the first set of cathodes in it into the crucible. Um, yeah, lost a little bit here and there, but you know most of it's there. So we got uh, you know basically 1.7 kilograms of fairly clean cathodic copper from my first run of the uh, copper refining cell. So that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. That's that's a nice little ingot there. 
yeah, not bad for a first effort. And I've still got another set of uh, anodes to go through in the cell once I get it put back together. First, I've got to clean the anode slimes out of it and process them. So that's coming up next. So, uh, hey, I hope you found this video interesting, educational, inspirational. If so, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and check out my second channel, um, ElectroGeek642. Check it out. Subscribe there. Subscribe to this channel see future videos, including me processing the anode slimes from uh, this first run of the uh, electrolytic cell. And uh, press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when those videos come out because there's always new videos coming out. They're coming fast and furious. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.